Hi everybody, um, I just thought I'd go through a few things, seeing as I'm doing a baking um, little bit, sort of a mini series, um, I'm hoping this is going to help people who don't do a lot of baking, just to sort of show you just the basic things that you would need if you're going to start baking, you might be young, you might be just married, um, most of the things that I've got here are from the pound shop, so it doesn't have to be expensive and you can sort of do these gradually just by I used to buy one thing a week for the home and make sure that I'd got everything that I needed so these are just the tools that you're going to use all the time and um, just to give you a hand so the first thing um, oven gloves these are a pound each from the pound shop they're quite thick they hang up um, they, do, they do what they're supposed to do to stop you getting burnt this again is the same theme, it's like um, a love heart theme, it's the um, the pound shop Jane Asher, these are just a pound as I say, this is just um, like a sieve, um, I use this for icing sugar when I'm baking, again pound shop is your measuring cups, you've got one cup, half cup, quarter cup, eighth of a cup and then you've got tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, so these are the, again, they hang up, they were just a pound, um, again, pound shop, um, I have two peelers, this is if you're doing apples or um, pairing anything, uh, this type you might like better, or this type that you just pull down, there were two for a pound, scissors, uh, again, pound shop, uh, they don't have to be mega, this usually is for if you're greasing and lining a cake tin or something and um, I used to just keep these for baking, I have other ones obviously um, two sizes just to make it easier a tea strainer, um, might sound a strange thing but if you're uh, juice and orange or something like that you might want to strain it um, straining all sorts of different things, I have different types of strainers um, I have bigger ones and smaller ones, but this again is just the pound shop. Again, the pound shop, it's just a small grater. It's not fantastic, this, I must admit. Um, but if you're just grating the rind of an orange or lemon and you just want a little bit, then it's fine. I do have this one, which is a, a three sided one. Obviously, this is for cheese and anything else. This is the side that you use. Um, it's quite sharp. I think I got this from Morrison's. I think it was about two pound fifty. So that's a good one to have. That one's okay though. Um, I always keep um, a skewer. This is like from barbecue many years ago. It's it's quite thick, but I always keep this one. You know, for just dipping into cakes, just to making sure if it comes out clean, it's done. And um, it's quite long, so you're not going to burn yourself being too near. I've got pizza cutter, so maybe it sounds a strange thing, but pizza cutter is great for just cutting pastry. And again, this is pound shop. Um, it's sharp enough. It's not fantastic for pizzas, I must admit, but it's great for cutting pastry. Pound shop again. Um, this is um, just for a pastry brush, just for um, putting milk or egg on pies and things like that. I must admit I do have two, this one's a little bit better, it's like a fibre one and um, I found that for ages when I first used this the fibres used to come out, now I've had it quite a few years and um, it's not too bad but I do quite like these plastic ones as well. Spatulas, um, you can see mine are well well used, um, pound shop, I have a couple of different sizes, pound shop again. Um, different sorts of sizes of wooden spoons you can't go wrong with wooden spoons you use them in all types of cooking um, I quite like this sort of slotted one if you're doing a thinner mixture if you're doing a batter or a cake mix then your thicker one's better um, this one I did pay actually I paid quite a lot for this whisk um, I do find that the pound shop ones are not that good um, they just tend to they're not solid enough on the base here um, I think this one was from Asda and I think I paid about £5 for it, but um, it's well worth it. 
and I use that quite often. These are from B&M and um, the, the like the sort of rubbery ones. These are great for getting biscuits off your baking tray. Um, this comes with a spoon as well which is that and they've got like a beech wood handle and I don't use that really for cooking but this one for baking sorry but I do use this one and um, uh, they, obviously they don't melt two knives and um, one is a, a spatula because um, it, this is great it's great for easing cakes out of tins it's great for icing I must add you I use this a lot I've had this I must have had it 25 years and I cannot tell you where I bought it from um, but I use it all the time it's flexible but not too flexible and um, it's great that I also have an offset spatula this I bought a few years ago and I actually bought it from a cake shop this is great if you're icing buns or cakes and um, just that offset gives you that little bit of more leverage and it's just a spatula that has been it's got a bend in it so it's called an offset spatula again I've had this donkey's years this is a ruler and it's marked out in inches it's definitely not marked out in centimeters so it is a long while but it's got different sort of holes that you can make spacings for when you're icing it can level a cake level the icing you can also make patterns with it you've got little dots where you can space things out it's very very flexible it's very washable and and I use this a lot you'd be surprised at the uses that you can find for this Um, I don't know where you would find one nowadays I'm pretty sure maybe pound, pound land will have that kind of thing a timer definite and um, it's a must unless you've got one on your oven or your cooker which I don't have well, I do, but to be tough, I don't know how to set it. And it's really, the, it's only the timer to actually um, delay the cooking time so to, for your oven to come on, say, maybe in an hour's time. So this is from the pound shop, and I use it all the time. I use it when I'm steaming things. I use it all the time. And you don't have to pay a lot of money. My cake stand, you've seen this loads of times, but my cake stand, I absolutely love it. I've also got some cupcake stands, um, you can get cardboard cupcake stands and you can get um, wire ones. I've got one of each when I make cupcakes or if I'm doing a family get together. I don't do many parties but um, this I find a lot easier when I'm icing as well, um, my cake stand. Um, it's easy to turn and I just think it's really pretty. I think I've told you before, 50p from... Um, the charity shop look around the charity shops the things you can find are amazing and um that would have cost a lot of money in its day the other two things two or three things is i always have a spoon rest and um, this is just to you know you tend to put things down on the top when you're baking so i have a spoon rest just to put obviously spoons in there um a rolling pin i have got a glass one that has got a cap on each end and you can fill it with ice so that when you're making your pastry and um, nowadays I don't make pastry that often and to be truthful the frozen pastry is just as good as what you can buy and um, I'm not going to set to and make puff pastry because it takes forever to make even though it's beautiful and um, so really this probably gets used for marzipan at Christmas and things like that I do use it obviously invest in a good board this is my board and um, it's my pastry board I use it for chopping I use it for everything I'll be truthful and um, I'm a bit of a freak for chopping boards that's what I use for pastry as a rule but I also have a smaller one which is this um, this gets used for if I'm doing salads or things like that but sometimes if I've got the family here it's not big enough so, um, but if I'm just sort of, I'm going to roll out a small bit of marzipan or I'm decorating or something like that, and then I'll use that. But um, invest in good chopping boards. Some people like glass ones. I don't. I can't stand the sound of it when you cut onto a glass board. And another much more hygienic. This gets scrubbed and it gets bleached. Both of them do. Um, just about every time that I use them, so I know that they're clean. Some people like plastic ones. 
I don't because they get cut and they get grooved and that's where the germs are. So um, it's your choice. But invest in decent ones because these will last me the rest of my life. And this, um, the big one, I've had for about 20 years. And this one I've probably had for about 3 or 4 years. Uh, but it will last and it looks like new every time it's been it's been um, bleached. So those are your basic, I would say, utensils that you're going to need. Um, or just have it. And I would think, I honestly think that most of you have got all this stuff. This is just um, a kind of refresher. There might be something in there that you have seen. And now I'm going to go on to the bigger stuff.